for those who don't know me, I am with the Portuguese Conspiracy. <laughs> and today I got for you just a little uh, curiosity about Pope of year 1000, Sylvester II. So this is a work with Casper de Sanz from the Conspiracy. Uh, everybody knows about abacus, the Roman abacus, the Roman table to calculate with the calculi, the decimal columns, the first portable calculator the Romans used. They look nice, but to do uh, calculations with, this, uh, with these devices was not easy for sure. The, the beads don't leave the columns. It's complicated. It's very difficult to do anything besides addition and subtraction, and even subtraction can pose problems. Well, Gilbert d'Orillac, this is the name of the pope I'm talking about, Gilberto, it was a Frenchman that traveled to the south of to Catalonia in 970, spent three years there. So he got in touch with the, the influences of mathematics that came with the Arab world. But he, he didn't understand very well the decimal system that existed already, the works of al Khwarizmi and so on. But he learned something. And he was a fantastic professor. He was a, a great intellectual, was considered to be the, the, the man, the, the wisest man in the Christian world. And uh, he was even accused of making pacts with the devil to get all that knowledge. He was a great, uh, he, he taught lots of things, mathematics, astronomy, and so on. This is a 15th century illustration of, he, of himself talking to, to a devil. Gerberto's abacus is a fantastic device because it's a, it's a hybrid between the counter abacus and the Indo-Arabic system. Uh, the system works this way. Each counter has a digit on it. There's no zero. We don't need a zero in abacus. We just leave a, a place empty. And then you work in an abacus, but you use the numeral systems, the, the Indo-Arabic uh, digits, which is very strange. So I have here several examples, 13 in the first line, 87 in the second. So each column now gets only one counter and it has a digit. So the numbers are meant to be read. And with this uh, device, uh, we, the, a manual survived of a student of, uh, of Gerbert, this Bernalin, and that's the, the only work that we, we have. It shows that they didn't understand very well the algorithms. They, don't, they didn't understand the base, the, the, the decimal system, positional system, but they came up with rules that worked very, very well. And in particular, there's a, a, an algorithm to make division that is beautiful, and I will show you a, an example that Bernalen gives, and, and I will sh share with you in a second. So we are going to use this uh, way of writing the numbers imitating the original. There are groups of three columns, uh, powers of 10, of course. Uh, the zero doesn't exist, we leave an empty space. For instance, I'm going to show you how uh, Bernalin shows a multiplication. I have here the, the problem just to show you that the influence, it's not very Christian here. So we have to make a multiplication by 12. So this is the way you set up the calculation. 12, and then you have the other factor. And then I jump to the result because it's, it's almost exactly our, our algorithm. Now, but this is very strange because if they knew about the algorithm works, they, they would just use pencil and paper. It's much better. So we are, we are in, a, in a moment, very strange moment, in which in Europe didn't have the, the, the algorithm system. In, but they have abacuses. They were becoming old-fashioned. So for a moment, these people around Gerbert were the only ones able to do multiplication and division easily. And so they were considered special. And this is the, the algorithm I'm going to talk, tell you about. It's called Divisio Ferria. The guy had another one, Divisio Aurea. But this is the, the funny one and the interesting one. Suppose you want to find 668 divided by 6. The trick is to use a helper divisor that makes calculations easier. And here is 10. It's in the first row, a 1 with a space. The real divisor is in the second row. It's the 6. And then, because you are going to cheat in the calculations, you need to compensate 
and you use the difference between the real divisor and the helper divisor. It's the 4. And then you write twice 668 because one is to remember what you are doing and the other one you are going to feed on, you are going to eat it up by pieces. So we start by dividing the 6 of 600 by 10. In this abacus, this means to slide the piece of the 6 that is on the left downstairs to the lowest, lowest part of the, of the grid on the second column. This is the act of dividing 600 by 10. Their rules would say a 6 on third column divided by a 1 on the second column is a 6 on second column. We just know that is the positional system at work. Now, you have to compensate. You divide it by 10. You should have divided by 6. So you have to add to the divisor 4 times 6. And that's what you do. It's 24 with a 0. It's 240. And now you divide that 2 of the, of the hundreds by 10. And you get a 2 downstairs and you have to compensate with 8. And then you divide 100 by the 10. You get a 1, you compensate with 40 that you have to add. I'm going to clean up this mess a little bit. You are now in, with the problem of dividing 128 and to continue the algorithm. You divide the 100, you compensate with 4, you are finally, finally got rid of the 100s. So you have 68. 60 divided by 10 is 6, it goes to the first column. You have compensate 4 times 6, 24. So you have 32. You divide three, 30 by 10 is 3. You compensate with 12. You get 14. You have to divide 10 by 10 is 1. And finally, you don't need the divisor, the helper anymore, because you, what you have, it's not big enough. You divide by 6. And you wrap it up, you sum all this mess downstairs, and you have 111 with the remainder 2. Now, this algorithm looks a little bit naive, but uh, if you think of long division as we do it, it's a, a difficult algorithm. You have to make guesses, educated guesses. You try, it's trial and error. If the guess was not good, you restart, and so on. With this system of Gerbert, it, everything is automatic and determined from the outset. And that is beautiful. It's really, really interesting. It's uh, completely automatic. Of course, uh, why this works? It's very easy mathematically. It, it, the, the reason is you, you have to find a nice um, divisor. You are given a, 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 any divisor. You go to a power of 10 or a multiple of a power of 10. And this works beautifully. Most of the movements are really slidings of stones on the table, which, which makes it really, really pleasant. So there's this manual, as I, uh, as I mentioned, by Bernalin with lots of examples. This is the first example. It goes on to, to, to big numbers. I leave you just with the homework to stick in the 11. I, did this, this, I made this calculation myself. It's too long to present here. There's lots of steps, but you can do it. Uh, 2014 divided by 11, and I hope you get the same result as I did. <laughs> well, now, before, you, b before I'm gone, let me just show you something here. You know, otherwise my conspiracy would get mad at me. Just a little bit about the things we have been doing that we want to show you. In Portugal, we published recently two online journals high quality journals, one on board game studies, another one that just came out yesterday in recreational mathematics. It's very interesting uh, uh, journal. I, I hope you can see the URL, otherwise I'll give you the URL. It's, uh, it's number one, just came out, very interesting. I hope some of the talks here this time at G4G11 will show up here, I don't know. We organize on the odd numbered years a similar meeting, similar to this one in Europe, in Portugal. We organized already three of them. 2015, we will organize another one. So please show up. We are very happy. We'll be very happy to, to, to get you, to get you there. To, we also organize sometimes this board game studies colloquium. This one goes around the world. It's not fixed. Next, next will be in May in England, but sometimes it was already twice uh, in Portugal. All the informations are in the open uh, page of uh, our organization. The URL is very easy, ludicum.org. 
I guess if you Google Portuguese conspiracy, you'll find us. Thank you very much.